answer. Ooh, did you guys check out your um, love reading, your romantic tarot reading? Do it. Check it out. It was a good one. It was a good one. And by good at me, I mean meaningful. Like it's going to get you somewhere. I don't think it's just good news, you know? I don't believe that that's the only goodness, right? When you hear what you want to hear. That's not, that's bullshit. Like that's what, that's not what we're here for. We're here for challenges. We're here to make ourselves better. It's not just about what makes it easier for us, right? Easy is not good. Not, not synonymous. Sometimes it is, but it's not synonymous. All right. But it was, it was pretty good reading too. It was, it was a good, you know, a nice reading, but it was also, I just think that there's, there's good stuff to hear. I'll, I'll attach it above for you, Cancer. So Cancer, welcome to Born Without Boundaries. This is your re weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Let's get right into your messages. Cancerians, this is for Cancer Sun, Moon Rising, or wherever Cancer energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven days. So this is Cancer energy, okay? This is not about he said, she said bullshit. It's not. It's really not. Like, that's not what I read in. If you There's a ton of other channels that do that crap, so... You can log off now if that's what you're here for. Um, your crowning energy, dove spirit, be peace. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. And it is definitely not what I've been feeling. I am a Cancer sun and moon and Jupiter, FYI. Um, this is definitely not what I've been feeling. The crowning energy this week, Cancerians, is be peace. What does that mean, balance? It's maybe there's an imbalance, maybe there's a suffering, maybe there's a hurt, maybe there's a pain, maybe there's too much joy, maybe there's indulgence. Whatever it is, there's a sense of balance being the key to the next seven days for us. And maybe that's the reward over the next seven days is that we actually start to feel some sort of balance come back into our lives. This is Libra and energy, so it has to do with fairness. Maybe our conscious mind is on fairness, what's right, what's wrong, what's good, what's bad. You know, thinking about those things, those, those things that, we, that you look over kind of from afar. But this is also, this is also love. Dove is love. You know, um, this is, I said, Libra and energy and Libra is ruled by Venus. I can't help but ignore. I can't help to ignore. Just these little seeds, these little sparkles, these little bits of, bits and pieces of uh, La Vie en Rose, this is a really beautiful energy of somebody sending you peace, somebody sending you maybe help or assistance, a crowning energy of rebalancing, seeing the big picture. Maybe we've been a little bit too insulated, right? Keeping ourselves in our tight little shells and this energy of needing to get out and see what's going on around us. You know, to let us know, hey, we're not alone. You know, we may be stuck. We may be isolating ourselves. But that's a choice. That's not our, our actually being alone. See the broader picture of what you're doing to expand, you know, your your understanding of even your part in the circumstance or situation. If you've been feeling down, if you've been feeling low, if you've been feeling rejected or dejected or lost or like you don't matter, there is an energy of this is how you can heal yourself by looking at a big picture. By seeing, by seeing what's going on around you instead of just basically getting lost. It's almost like you may be getting lost a little bit too much in your own life, in your own, you know, pain and suffering, uh, which makes sense, you know. This isn't condemnation. This is just advice. Uh, see the big picture. Time to heal. Wow. And I think that these two cards are going really well together and that there's essentially seeing the big picture is going to help us heal putting ourselves back into the many instead of feeling isolated and alone. Um, but also some sort of higher perspective, under, uh, perspective and understanding that's going to help us bring us back to that state of happiness and peace. Now, I do see, like I said, there could be a messenger coming in, some sort of message that helps us see a larger, a larger picture or reminds us to look at things from afar or look at things even from the future or what's coming our way. But there is definitely this energy of... Whew, finally being able to breathe, finally being able to feel happy again. So if you have had a hard time these past seven days, Cancer, there's a beautiful energy of healing, healing coming. Let's see how that healing is coming. Mmm, let it shine. Okay. There's something that you need to say. 
And it could, Cancerians, be to a specific person. But I think more or less it's this darkness that's been encroaching around you, that's been co congregating around you, that's been getting thicker and deeper, is actually something that is because you have been holding back what you feel, right? Uh, you know, I watched the Golden Girls. Thank you for being a friend. What? But there is a sense, there was a scene that I saw about Rose had had been hit on by her dentist and she wasn't going to report him because she was scared or she was worried or she thought maybe I remembered it wrong. And Blanche had looked up in this book of psychology to just say what the implications could be on her not sticking up for herself, right? And it's really bad. So that's something that we need to discuss as Cancerians because we tend to do that a lot. We tend to bottle what we feel. We tend to bottle what we really want to say because we're so in tune with what other people feel and their reactions to us. Well, instead, we just, it's always, we prioritize them feeling good over us feeling good. And so we don't say what we need to say. We don't say what's really on our mind. And we live life in a state of bitterness, screaming and yelling at the walls and talking to ourselves instead of talking to the people we need to talk to. This week, you can't do that. And I really feel like the balance is going to come in because you refuse to do that. You're saying what's actually on your mind, even if it makes you unpopular. That's the energy that's coming through. Believe in yourself, Cancerians. This is Virgo energy. This is solid, solid, solid energy. Virgos also will tell you exactly what they mean. They will say exactly what they need to say. They don't give a fuck about how they're making people feel. But they will say exactly what they need to say. So this is my North Node is in Virgo. So this is a, a good reminder for me. But it's a reminder for all of us out there. Cancerians, we just have a real difficult time. And some people, I will say this to you because I've listened to other readers. I've listened to other signs like commenting, commentary on Cancerians. They think we're manipulative. And, so, you know, listen, there's shitty people in all signs. So maybe some Cancers are manipulative, of course. But in general, this is an intentional manipulation. We're not, well, it kind of is, isn't it? But it's not. It's almost like passive aggressive manipulation that we do. It's, this is bullshit that we do, that we don't say what we need to say because we're so invested. We just want your approval so bad. But then we actually rob the other person across the boardroom, across the table, across the dinner table, next to us in bed. We actually rob the other person of who we really are. They never really get to know us. Because we're always saying what they we think they want to hear instead of <clears throat> what we actually feel and believe. Shit, we could, we could have ended up with a totally wrong person. And then we wonder why people are always leaving us or dumping us. Because we're never truly ourselves. We're never truly ourselves out loud. And this is about you. Hashtag Rich, Ricky Gervais. I love him. He's a Cancerian, FYI. <laughs> and adapt his modality of, I don't give up. I don't give up. I don't care. How many times did he say that in his Golden Globes acceptance speech? I'm going to attach it right above. How many times did he say that? Because it's the energy that Cancerians really need to adopt right now. I don't care what people think of me. I'm a part of this process. I'm a part of this construction. And if I don't start contributing what I'm supposed to be contributing, instead of standing behind everybody else being like, you go, how can I help you? That's a bunch of BS. You need to help everybody by standing out and being who you are. They need you to be you. They don't need you to be what you think they want you to be. They need you to be you. So Cancers, this is your central energy. Believe in yourself. Even if you say shit people don't want to hear, it's exactly what needs to happen because what the world is missing, what the people in your life are missing, it's you. They're missing you because you've tunneled yourself so much you've insulated yourself so much in this headspace craziness of what do people want to hear and they've you've lost you you've lost you this is why you're feeling so depleted this is why you're feeling so frustrated this is why you're feeling so robbed this is why you're feeling what you're feeling this is why because you've robbed yourself
Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself to the point where you are valuable even if you say something somebody doesn't want to hear. Even if you say something that, pe that pisses people off. you got to be you, Cancerians. And I'm telling you, the reason why this message is coming through is because it is pivotal to your success over the next uh, seven days. It is pivotal. It, it is absolutely essential, Cancerians. For you to say, be you, actually say what's on your freaking mind and be honest and truthful, not saying what people want to hear. That's a bunch of BS. It's not helping them. And it sure as heck isn't helping you. Mm, this has been building. Oh, I can feel it in the air. There could be a big explosion next week. Why? Because you didn't say what you need to say. This has been building for a while. This has been something that I know you can feel it, Cancerians. You're just kind of like trying to like, mm, It'll get better. It'll magically go away. Nothing's going to magically heal this. This has been building too long. All the little things are stacking up and now you have an infestation. You have an infestation of untruths. You have an infestation of codependency. You have an infestation of passive aggressiveness. You have an infestation of things that have gone unsaid. Of you not being yourself. Opportunities that you have not taken. You have an infestation of those things. All in the name of caring about somebody else and wanting to put somebody else first, which is a bunch of bullshit. It is fear. It is fear and it is cowardness and it's got to stop. Enough of robbing the world of you. Now, I know I'm talking in big terms, like metaconscious terms. So how does this apply to your life? When your spouse comes home to you, what do you tell them? What you know that they want to hear because you can fucking read their mind? Or do you tell them, it doesn't look good on you. No, you keep showing me the same dress. I keep smiling. I got to say, no, no, no. Don't wear that again. Your ass is too fat. You know, you really want to say it. You know, you do. And you know what? That's what they really need to hear. People need your voice next week. That's all I'm going to say. And honestly, it's not just about you looking at the bigger picture. It's about the bigger picture. Because you know people intimately. And you see all the time. You have this psychic connection with all energies. You can see their truths. If you don't say the truth, then who else has access to that shit? People that, that care about themselves, not everybody else. It's got to come from that loving place of somebody who actually does care. Which is what we are. It rather You'd rather get the truth from somebody who actually cares than, than somebody who just basically is going to throttle you with it and use it to like get one over on you. There, see the bigger picture. There is more of a reason. Um, that we have a place in the grand scheme of things, Cancerians. You need to say what's on your mind instead of constantly thinking about what everybody else wants from you. It's bad. It's bad for you. And this is not the time to do it. Yep, this, I don't know, because it came out kind of wonky. I don't know. I'm just going to see where it lands. That's what I'm going to do. How are these cards supposed to come out? How are these cards supposed to come out? All right. You are the designer of designs. You are the grandmother of mothers. You are weaving the weaves. You are creating the fabric. You are casting the spells. Care for the sp tale you tell. That is the spell. Children will listen. I'm going to say that again because somebody needs to hear it. Care for the tale. Careful the tale you tell. That is the spell. Children will listen. What you allow over the next seven days is going to eventually come back around to hurt your children. Think about that. Think about that. Think about that. If you know that what you allow over the next seven days is going to come back to get them, now how allowing do you want to be? I'm one of you. I know what you need to hear. Act as if. This card has many applications. Let me discuss all of them with you. Number one, be like a chameleon. Don't say shit, listen. Let them think you're on their side. Go ahead. And then hit them with the fucking truth. 
You want them to play their hand. You want to see what's in their hand. Do it. This is also shedding that fucking skin. Stop pretending. This is what is, what is where is this going to get you? Pretending to be what everybody else has wanted you to be has basically gotten you all the love, but it's the wrong love. It's fake love. It's manipulative love. But this is also a message, act as if, to give you courage, right? I'm not trying to rip you down. I'm trying to build you up. Hold on. Stop. My dog's eating my altar, actually. Got to stop. This is, what do you need to do to feel good? What do you need to do to have confidence? Act as if everything's already your way. Walk into the room, acting as if everybody loves you. That they're going to love you no matter what. Even when they're angry, they love you. Pretend. Fake it till you make it, cancer. Fake it till you make it. It's that important. Kisses? No. Fake it till you make it. What are you going to do? Let, it, let her eat the lighter and get poisoned by the shit inside or tell her no? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like just, just this exchange. I'm, I'm trying to use as an example to you. Believe me, you may not see it now. But there is such a resounding need for your voice. Such a resounding need for your perspective. And if all you do is prioritize, that's why it came out wonky. That's why it came out almost backwards. Because there's this sense of disguising yourself just to get that love, that, that fleeting love. You know what? You need to say what you need to say. People, even if you don't get people's love, if you really are unhappy about something, then stick up for what makes you happy. Stick up for you. Stick up for your kids. I'm telling you right now, this is going to come back around and it could affect them. It's one thing to make concessions for everything that is you. It's another thing to put, throw them under the bus too. Are you willing to throw your own kids under the bus? You willing to you willing to put them on their knees along with you? You want you want to be on your knees sucking dick every day, go the fuck ahead. But do you want your little girl having to do it too? How about your little boy? Everything that you like like make yourself susceptible to, you 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 make a part of their life. Understand that. Understand that generational karma happens. Understand that the way the world views you, it'll view them too. Understand that. So if you can't find a way in the next seven days to care about yourself, care about how it could impact people you actually love. Think about it. If you were another person, how would you want that other person to be treated versus how you allow yourself to be treated? It's an interesting question. Treat yourself as if you would treat a friend or one of your own children, not all that you allow, all the crap that you allow into your own life. You know that you've been keeping things back. You know that you've been holding back. You know that you haven't been saying shit that needs to be said. Who cares? That you got to do the hashtag Ricky Gervais. Fuck it. Enough. Enough. I don't care if you don't like me. I've got to like me. Let's see how this is going to pan out. I'm going to go over to the full tarot card spread because there is more to this story than what the Oracle cards provided. And we'll also do the love reading too. Cancers, I will see you over there.